Welcome to Tallies by D. This video is about my top five picks for the best cities to retire to in Colorado. But first, just the basics. Colorado is the 38th state and was admitted to the Union on August the 1st, 1876. Colorado ranks third in health care, 17th in education, 34th in cost of living, 29th in internet coverage, speed, and availability, and it ranks 20th in violent crime. Colorado is noted for its vivid landscape of mountains, forests, high plains, mesas, plateaus, rivers, and desert lands. Colorado is one of the mountain states and is a western state, but is often considered to be part of the southwestern United States. Denver is the capital and most populous city with a population of 711,463 residents. However, the greater metro area has more than 3 million people. The most common natural hazards in Colorado are droughts, wildfires, floods, and tornadoes. In addition, Colorado's hailstorm activity ranks among the most active in the country. Hail has caused more than $5 billion in property damage over the past decade. Colorado is a skier's haven with three highly rated resorts. Aspen, Vail, and Snowmass are all located in the northern part of the state. Which leads me to the fact that some parts of Colorado get more than the U.S. average of 28 inches of snow per year. With that in mind, I'll be giving you the average yearly snowfall for each of my top five Colorado picks. And on to my top five picks. Top pick number five, Rhetoric, Colorado, population 15,761. It's located 30 miles north of Denver in north central Colorado. The cost of living is 20% higher than the national average. The violent crime rate is 14.1% below. The property crime rate is 20.2% below. There is one hospital in Frederick, but another four within 18 miles. There is a senior center. There are no movie theaters directly in Frederick, but there are two in Longmont, 15 miles away. The median home cost is 535000 but in reality, 600000 is probably more like it. The average snowfall is 36 inches per year. Frederick is a beautiful community that began as a mining town. It was originally named McKissick for the mine owner and was later renamed Frederick. The town hosts an annual Miner's Day festival honoring these earliest settlers. This is a tight-knit community situated on the beautiful front range of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. This historical small town is growing rapidly, adding approximately 1,000 new residents each year. This growth is redefining the town's demographic, producing a population with wide-ranging needs and expectations. As for things to do, there's Centennial Park, which is a large city park with plenty of space to spread out and enjoy views of the Rocky Mountains. Many community events are held here because of its prime location and facilities. There's also the Frederick Recreation Area with almost 130 acres of multi-use recreational land. This area is a great spot to spend some time outside. You'll find a playground, picnic tables and shelters, a fishing pond, and paved walking trails among other facilities to enjoy. One item of special note is an annual event called Frederick Takes Flight, which features two mornings of hot air balloon lift-offs and skydiving. There are food and product vendors, crafts, live music, and a beer garden. And moving on to top pick number four, Windsor, Colorado, which is located in the far north central part of the state. Their population is 28,756. You will need to be a snow person if you live in Windsor as they get an average of 44 inches of snow per year. Their cost of living is 19.1% higher than the national average, while the violent crime rate is 16% below and the property crime rate is 13.7% below. Windsor and Essex County has three multifaceted hospital facilities. There are senior centers in Windsor, 
There are two movie theaters within 15 minutes and another six within 25. A two-bedroom townhouse in Windsor will run you $410,000, while a three-bedroom single-family home will run you closer to $586,000. Windsor has an active calendar of events to occupy its residents. A summer concert series takes place at the Lakeside Boardwalk Park with food vendors and a beer garden specializing in locally brewed beers. A harvest festival takes place during Labor Day weekend and includes a parade, carnival, concerts, a hot air balloon festival, and home and garden fairs. The Windsor Art and Heritage Center hosts a variety of art shows throughout the year. The Boardwalk Park Museum contains seven original historical buildings, including a train depot with caboose and freight car, schoolhouse and teacher's quarters, and farmhouse with summer kitchen. There is also a community playhouse which produces theatrical productions throughout the year. There are several more events, but to keep this video at a reasonable length, I'll stop there. Top pick number three, Firestone, which is located in north central Colorado, 40 miles north of Denver. Its population is 31,873. The average snowfall is 36 inches per year. The cost of living is 21% higher than the national average. The violent crime rate is 13.6% lower, while the property crime rate is 19.2% lower. There are four hospitals within 13 miles. There is a senior center. There are two movie theaters within 15 miles, and the median home cost is 574000 one thing of note is that Firestone is one of the fastest growing cities in northern Colorado. Firestone has more than 35 parks and the Firestone Legacy Trail runs for more than 12 miles, much of that distance along a railroad right-of-way which once served the coal industry. Firestone boasts golf clubs, wineries, and vineyards. For top pick number two, we're moving to the southeast corner of Colorado to Lamar. Lamar's population is 7,612. Lamar's cost of living is 29% below the national average. The violent crime rate is 13% below, with the property crime rate being 2% below. For a relatively small community, it has two CMS critical access hospitals that serves Lamar and the surrounding communities. There is a community center in Lamar that offers a range of programs and services for its senior residents. Unfortunately, the closest movie theater is in Holly, Colorado, which is 26 miles away. The median home cost is $152,440, and the average snowfall is 25 inches per year. I should mention that Lamar is not a suburb and is a true small town, with only other small towns nearby. The closest city with over 100,000 residents and an airport is Pueblo, Colorado, which is two hours away. The town of Lamar resulted from an argument between landowners that ended with a railroad crew removing an existing depot and moving it three miles west. Although the town's history is spirited, the present-day lifestyle in southeastern Colorado is quite tame. As for points of interest, Lamar is one of Colorado's best bird-watching destinations, one of the most popular places to view red-bellied woodpeckers, Inca doves, and northern cardinals is John Martin Reservoir State Park. John Martin is also popular for boating, fishing, and hiking. Every February, the High Plains Snow Geese Festival celebrates the spring migration of giant white snow geese and is one of the best occasions to see the majestic species. Or you could hike to Buttes Trail in the spring or fall to catch a variety of migratory birds, including snow geese and sandhill cranes. And before I move on to top pick number one, I'm going to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe, like, and comment. Sharing your opinion helps me provide the type of information you find most helpful, and it makes the YouTube algorithm happy, which helps my channel grow. And that brings us to top pick number one, Fruta Colorado. 
Fruta would be a wonderful choice for those who love the majestic beauty of Colorado, but without as much snow, as it only averages 16 inches of snow per year. Fruta is located in west-central Colorado, 12 miles west of Grand Junction. Its population is 14,465. Cost of living is 2% higher than the national average. The violent crime rate is 12.6% lower. The property crime rate is 15.4% lower. There is one hospital in Fruta, but another two in Grand Junction and one in Delta. There are senior centers, and there are two movie theaters within nine miles. The median home cost is 420000 for a nice-sized three-bedroom home. It's a down-to-earth hometown with all the beauty of the mountains, the canyons, and a vast array of outdoor activities. Fruta is the gateway to the Colorado National Monument, a 32-square-mile wonderland of red rock spirals and canyons that became part of the National Park Service in 1911. The Fruta entrance to the monument offers the easiest access to developed camping and the park's visitor center and is a magnet for climbing, hiking, and road biking. Perhaps most famously, Fruta is a mountain biking epicenter with over 50 trails serving up hundreds of miles of rides for all levels. Rimrock Drive is also the site of the Rimrock Marathon held every November. In this baby boomer's opinion, fruit is definitely worth a look if you're thinking about retiring in Colorado. And that's it for this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace, positivity, kindness.